Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a beautiful succulent from the genus of Graptopetalum called as Graptopetalum superbum. Now this uh, succulent originates from uh, Mexico. The origin of the succulent is Mexico. It is a natural species that tends to grow in wild. Now talking about uh, this particular succulent, now this was a cutting from the mother plant. I lost the mother plant uh, while shifting. So this was the only pup that I had. Uh, so the colors are not very visible. If I'm going to talk about the colors, uh, the color of the succulent is lavender to pink with thick fleshy leaves which are connected to a thick stem. Tends to grow quite huge. You might have seen the pictures on Google as well. Tends to grow really huge. And uh, right now this is in a very small uh, condition. It is in indirect bright light trying to recover. But as and when it starts to grow and it tends to put out its colors, I will definitely keep you guys updated. Now it's a pretty simple to grow succulent because it is a natural species species it can handle a lot of different environments and different climate provided you give the basic care requirements so if you are a beginner if you're just starting off with succulents you can definitely add this in your collection the basic care requirements is same the soil has to be loose porous and well draining wait for the soil to be completely bone dry and only then go ahead and water it uh, do not keep the succulent underwater for a very long time. The leaves cannot store a lot of water. So ensure that you have a balanced watering schedule for your succulents. Mealy bugs are not much of an issue. But as I said, as a routine check, as a good practice, always do a routine check probably once a week and once in two weeks, especially uh, on the lower part of the stem. If there are any mealy bugs, you can go for any organic solution. Now, because it belongs to the variety and genus of Graptopetalum, it will soon get into its dormant period during the summers and winter is its growing period so if you are a person who tends to add fertilizers please do not add any fertilizers during the dormant period which is the summer period let the succulent rest propagation is pretty simple as i said it tends to get a thick stem you can do a stem cutting you can do a leaf propagation you can even separate the offsets once they reach a decent size Talking about sunlight, you have to give it a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours in order to see that beautiful lavender pink color. Again, you can even grow it in indirect bright light, but the colors will not be very intense. If you are from a place wherein the temperatures rise really high during summers or during winters, if you experience snowfall and frost, you can move your succulents indoor provided you have a good quality of grow light. So that is pretty much it about Graptopetalum super bum. It's a super easy to grow succulent, super hardy, provided you give the basic care requirements. So if you are a beginner, you can add this in your collection. So that's all about Graptopetalum super bum. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.